everyone welcome back to my channel today it is thursday which means it's valentine's day tomorrow so i thought i could do like a fun little valentine's day edition vlog happy sunday i hope you're all having a lovely weekend i have just pulled in at starbucks just dropped tom off at the train station and he's actually going away for the night tonight he's going to some kind of uh, works thing in Birmingham so that means I have the house all to myself all of today and tonight and tomorrow morning so I thought I could use today this morning going to Starbucks grab myself a coffee and some breakfast and have a little planning session of what I could do as like a little Valentine's Day surprise treat type thing something along the lines of decorating the house a little bit getting some fun little goodies from home bargains poundland i think i might make him or at least attempt to make him some cake pops in like a valentine's day edition that's if i can find some cake pop sticks and molds and everything because i actually don't have any a fun little valentine's day edition vlog whether or not you had a galentine's day valentine's day or you did absolutely deadly squat which is usually what we do for valentine's day i'm not gonna lie I, we rarely get gifts and things it's only because we did the valentine's day gift ideas video and he surprised me with a holiday that i was like i'm gonna have to do something even if it's just decorate the house a little bit bake him something got him a card already i hope you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe for more and i'll leave my instagram handles down below if you did want to follow me over on there for more regular daily updates my tummy is rumbling let's head on into starbucks and get some all night long, yeah. We dance with our razor tongues and all day long, yeah. We reset under burning sun, catching the waves, inhale, exhale. Reminisce in the bygone time, laugh till we cry, days flying by, uh, flying by. Love on delay, push play, let it roll and take you away. Love for a day, replay. We don't care about what they say, and I go on. home so i went to a few different places i'll show you what i picked up i actually got loads from home bargains but there's quite a few things in there that are for wednesday's video i'm going to do like a fun themed cleaning video so stay tuned for that those of you that like the white company dupes and everything like that will probably love that video i've wanted to pick this up for ages now it's from home bargains they do a 25 centimeter one at 6.99 and a 30 centimeter one at 7.99 i went for the smaller one i did sort of compare in store and i think this one's fine so i'm going to replace the bowl that we currently have excuse bedding washing this bowl here, which we put our sweets in and stuff, it has like a Halloween sign on it. It's a Halloween jar. So I'm gonna put that away into storage for like Halloween time. And usually I just turn it around and I'm lazy like that, but I'm actually gonna get out this glass one and put in it some lint. Cause I thought that'd be a nice like decorative thing. So I went for the red. These jumbo size ones were on offer in Asda for £5.50. And then I also went for, well, some chicken thighs for my lunch. I also went for the pink ones because I love the taste of these. They're like the raspberry, oh no, strawberry, sorry, strawberry and white chocolate, so, so good. So I'm gonna mix those up and put that in this glass jar. I've got some milk, eggs, and baking stuff for the cake pops later. And as a backup, I got these mini red velvet cakes. I might also have a couple of these today because you know, cake pops off for tomorrow. Little decorative chocolate hearts. And then I saw on Pinterest with pink sticky notes. I couldn't find anywhere that just did pink, so I had to buy a whole pack, which is a bit annoying. Um, like a little, write loads of little love note affirmations. If your love language is words of affirmation, which I feel like Tom's might be a little bit, I'm gonna stick them in like a heart shape on the mirror in his bedroom where he gets ready. Really like fun, affordable way of doing a nice little DIY gift. Red balloons, I'm gonna go all out with balloons. A lint roller just because we needed one. Didn't realize Minky did them, so I got that from Asda. And then Poundland, I've got loads of decorative bits and cookies. These are our favorite 
chocolate biscuits. Oh my god, they're incredible. I don't typically eat these that often, but obviously love heart shape. And I've got some of these, which we also love. These ones are probably more for me. <laughs> White chocolate ones. And then the milk chocolate ones. Some chocolate chips for the cake pots. Some ivy rose petals. They're actually in the wedding aisle. As were these, the scatter crystals. And then, yes, it was Poundland did the cake pot moulds. And they're actually reduced to 50p. So I'm guessing they're not going to keep them that long. Love red petals. Heart tea lights. Three of these, because I thought I'd go all out with them. Hanging honey comb paper hearts heart confetti found these confetti balloons pack of six i actually don't have any cake tins to make the cake pops essentially the way that you make cake pops is bake a cake crumble it up mix it with icing form it into bowls set it in the fridge and then dip it in chocolate and decorate so i got these two silicon molds they were only 99p each okay i'm gonna get started on this cake Pop. So this is the mix that I've got from Cadbury's. It was from Home Bargains. Preheat the oven to 180. Oops. <laughs> Ready to pop in the tins. Whoa! How cool is that? Okay, so the first step now that they've uh, baked, a little bit came off here, but never mind. They've pretty much cooled down now, so I'm just gonna break these up into this bowl. Add some frosting, mix it all together. Obviously, if there are any burnt bits, which luckily I didn't manage to burn mine. If there are any, make sure you cut them off because you don't want like any hard burnt bits in the mixture. So I used this whole entire tub and obviously all of the cake mix and that is all that was left. So I might actually pop that back in there and just have it in the fridge to just <laughs> delve into. But it made loads and as I predicted these were too small. So rather than what you're meant to do is put it like that and then put the lid on top and then the stick through the hole, I decided to just put the right amount of cake pops in all of them. And I'm just gonna sit these in the fridge, leave them overnight, then in the morning, melt these, let it cool a little bit and dip each one in. Again, pop it back in the fridge and hopefully that should work out. I'll show you them in the morning. I did also get these, I showed you earlier, just to decorate them with. But these are the sticks, which obviously I won't have enough for all of them. I'll only have enough sticks for that amount. And I'll show you the room. Oh, oh, it's so nice. It's very red, not very my style. What I've done is I've got some throws to make it like nice and cozy on here and sprinkled all the confetti and decorations and balloons and everything. And then tomorrow, before I go pick Tom up, I'll kind of set out the cookies and cakes and cake pops on this, which I got from TK Maxx. And then I've got our little sweet jar now with these lints in. And I feel like all year round I'm going to have the gold ones in here because they're white chocolate and they're my fave. I quite like the aesthetic of having the white gold kind of ones in there. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay, this is the super cheese factor. This is the little I love you post-it note words of affirmation type thing that I created. And then the linguist in me has obviously put I love you in a couple of different languages up there. And then... We even done it in Mandarin. And then yeah, I mean that is just super cheesy, isn't it? But hey ho. And that is me prepped and ready for tomorrow. So I will see you guys in the morning for Valentine's Day. Good morning, happy Valentine's Day. 
excuse the mess in the background i thought i'd do a little outfit of the day for valentine's day it's very simple but very me these top top leather leggings which i'm such a big fan of we'll leave them linked highly recommend you get them and then my old ralph lauren boots that i got from tk maxx basic black tee from h&m and then this big cozy coat from nasty gal which is always on sale so i will leave it linked because it is it's a bargain. I absolutely love it. Look how thick and cozy it is. I also made a couple of last minute additions in this room last night. I did this Happy Valentine's Day XOXO letterboard. Uh, put Tom's card out. I've added some like Polaroid pictures and like old pictures over there as well. And also I finished off the cake pops. That's what they look like. They either have a white heart or a chocolate heart on. But essentially they're all the same and some I've just half coated in chocolate and some I've done like a full coat of chocolate. I'm also going to see if our shop has any red coloured or Valentine's themed scratch cards which I could also scatter amongst the Polaroids and the balloons. <laughs> I'm sure we will have a nice day today. Even just if we have a chill day today I'm happy with that because obviously Tom wasn't here last night so... Cuddles, Netflix, chill, maybe go to the cinema. I have booked us in for a meal at Australasia on Sunday. So I'll include that within next week's vlog. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> what do you think? Would you have camera ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you've me some flowers now, otherwise it'll look absolutely rubbish. No, you've got me a holiday! Yeah. Tom got me some flowers. Look at your face. Oh, you can put these in a the vase. These are pretty. Nice, huh? Yeah, they smell good. What's your favourite part? Uh, cake pop. I knew you'd say that. Well, that was the one that was most effort. There's more in the fridge. Ta-da! And he's back on his phone. Right, what are we doing then? What's the plan? We got the plan. Happy Valentine's Day. What do you want to do? Eat cake pops. Just eat cake pops and Netflix and chill date day or yeah. should we go out for lunch and then chill this afternoon? Or do you want to, ch do you like it? Yeah. Postman actually knocked on the door and I thought it was Tom but it wasn't, it was the postman. It says, Bondi Sands, which if it is, I don't think I've ever tried Bondi Sands before. The Australian Tan Bondi Sands, a coconut and sea salt body scrub, oil free coconut scent. Oh my word. <laughs> You've gone all out here, Frey. Yeah, it's Valentine's. Oh, I don't think this is like a tan, is it? Oh no, okay, so I've still not tried tan from Bondi Sands. This is a body wash, pH balancing coconut scent and body moisturiser. That's not a good one. It's because your knee's in the way. Makes an effort, okay. You make some effort. Um, so, you want to go for a walk? Walkies! <coughs> and then someone's hung over. So, fans are pretty boring. Pretty boring. <laughs> Which I'm all right with anyway. Oh, I've got your phone. I've got your phone. <laughs> have, have you sent all your Valentine's Day messages to all your girlfriends? No, I sent some more. I need to my mother actually as well. <laughs> oh, you've literally just snot on me. Yes. I like these pants, these are your sexy pants. Well, I don't want to go on a strenuous walk, just like round the park. So if we go on a little little walk to the park. Yeah. Oh, you're hungover. No. <laughs> you're just rough. Uh, no Tom, this is not Look at that. <laughs> so bendy. Ah! <laughs> Right, okay now. Oh, okay. Right, let's go for a walkie. Okay, we're not going on like a long strenuous walk or anything, just to walk through our village to a little restaurant. So I'm going to pop a little bit of parfum on. 
I'm gonna go with the new Thamine Peregrina. It's quite feminine this one, even though all their fragrances are unisex. It's quite light. I'll do these when we get, I will do them. <laughs> we will do them when we get back. Right, let's go. Anyone else's boyfriend is sociable as this? <laughs> He's not even got an excuse. <laughs> Have you? That failed. Try again. Still got you. Try and aim for the camera. Oh, Woo! Oh, that all good on slow mo. Pretty wild on that, don't you? I am getting quite hungry now. Go then. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> when the sun shines, we'll shine together. This is bloody beautiful. Could be in Cape Town right now, you see. <laughs> oh, I don't. I like winter. I love winter. I, I like do. Being cozy in winter. I do. I love being yeah, cozy this in winter. So, it's so nice. I like this mo this moment right now. I yeah. can't see this road, so if this car's coming, we're both getting run We're both getting hit. I love it. And then go high. Head on a pillow! Oh, I think you can't put that on there. Please don't make fun of the disabled. It's Ricky debate, I'm allowed to say that. There's nothing funny about those. I mean, it's so bad, but Where it's Ricky debate. Oh, mental in the legs. Does it mean. Their sorrow doesn't show. I like you. Can we give you scratch cards? Yeah. We might be millionaires. Yeah. Woo! What would you do first thing? Um, well, I'd be a millionaire, so. Well, I'd hold them. Do you want the 10p or the 50p? Oh no, 50. Oh, Final answer. Right, top prizes. Winning numbers. So you've got scratch off the winning numbers. 9, 16, 1 and 12. I prefer it if they made them like miles apart, do you know what I mean? Yeah, they always do it so close. Right, first card for me is not a winner. I would say it's not a winner, but you want to check it because I'm a bit... It's like to say. I uh, see Tom's a full scratcher, he likes to scratch off everything, whereas I always got taught if you scratch off a little bit, you've more chance of winning. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to scratch the numbers off to see if I'm a winner first. Yeah, then exactly. I'll scratch the prize That's the way you've got to do it. Nine. <gasps> nine? Nine. I've got a nine. Fiver. Three. Three quid. How funny that we've both won on a nine. Maybe nine's the winner. Right, so I spent ten quid on these scratch cards. And we've got back eight. Yeah, cash them in. Don't buy any more. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my new electric car ordered. I've just got the car. Tom's getting an electric car. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Right, catch up on Love Island. And then some Netflix movies. Yeah. I just didn't want to. Like, yeah, I just want to sell it more iron. That's a little, little, little. Oh, Can you get out your jeans? Because I can't stand it when you relax in jeans. At least you've got your shoes off, that's one step. You usually don't even do that. But honestly though, it'd be nice if you put the gun. Oh, yes. Can't stand it. Why do boys just not want to chill in comfy clothes? I'm going to go get into my comfy clothes. Can I sit down with you? Why it's all the race? Oh, I have not 
Tyson Fury documentary with Chinese. Yummy. Oh, that's a smelly foot right there. <laughs> Hello, is it me I'm looking for? When I say that, hello, does that make you think of that song or Adele? No, that's not. <sighs> How does the Adele one go? Hello, can you hear me? It's me. No. Hello, it's me. It's me. Uh, are you sure? I think so. I think you're wrong. Google. Hey, Google. No, 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 no. I want to end the vlog here. Hey, um, I know I'll get copyright. Go I'll get copyright. <laughs> she didn't hear. All my makeup's come off under my eyes, so I'm going to go take off all my makeup. Just watching The Office until the violin starts. And then do, 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 do. Yes. A bit disheveled. So I hope you enjoyed our little Valentine's Day date with us. Tom's just been asleep for the last two hours, which has been great company. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, had a lovely, nice, relaxed day really. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Bye guys. Oh, I even got a kiss from Tommy. <laughs> <laughs>